Alright, welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Legends Arceus Nuzlocke Challenge! Where in today's episode, uh, you can see that we're walking! That's sort of why I'm bobbing up and down. This is part of our, um, step challenge happening in the Super Carlin Brothers Discord this month, which it is not too late to join if you would like to join us. Uh, we are all split up into teams based on the, uh... Four elements, or more specifically, the um, kingdoms from Avatar The Last Airbender. If you want to be on my team, it's the Fire Nation. We're presently winning, not to brag, but I'm totally bragging right now because we are winning. And, and uh, I'm not going to stop just because I have to record some Nuzlocke. So, um, yeah, head over to the, uh, <laughs> to the Patreon and sign up. Join the Fire Nation. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked, right? It's for, for, not for the better in the show, but, you know... We gotta lean into it here on the on, on the gaming channel. Anyway, the great news is in today's episode, we are also going to advance a rank. We're gonna to talk to Silene here. Yes, have you made progress on your research task? If you progress, if you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've got I've got the I'm worthy, man. Give me the rank. Give me the rank, Silene. Hmm, you've made progress. Seems you have earned yourself a star. Yes, yes, oh, the glory, praise Arceus, am I right? Oh my gosh, we have a star, we look amazing, first of all. I think we can go get different clothes, possibly, with the fourth star, or different hair? Not that we would, we look, as I said, we, we just look, we're so adorable. Um, you officially attained the rank of four star! Mm hmm you can now use leaden balls, ooh. Pokemon up to level 50 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. 50, wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! Uh-oh. We might have a problem. <laughs> we might have a problem! Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands. But you will need to help from a particular person to survey and ultimately quell this electrode. Go to the training grounds. You should find them there. You guys. Somehow. We still can't have lasagna talk to us! Listen to us. No, I thought it was, I was like, yes, as soon as we get there, as soon as we get to the fourth rank, lasagna will listen, but lasagna still won't listen. No, um, honestly, Mercury's close to not listening. Okay, so we might have a small problem. We're just gonna go ahead and go, and um, we're gonna start making progress towards our next star rank as well. Maybe we'll get there faster because we are allowed to catch lots of stuff now. Um, yeah, oh boy. The important thing is, can we get awesome haircuts? Hmm, that's not quite right, just needs a little something. Oh, just the guy, I could use your, some help coming up with some new hairstyles. A Pokemon would be great for inspiration. Mischievous? Uh, okay. Do I have a mischievous? I don't think so. No. Okay, um, right? Do we? We better go look. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take this errand if it wasn't for something really important like hair. But it is about something that important, so... No, we don't have a mischievous. Okay, well if we see one... The game is the foot. We shall be catching it. We shall be catching it! You guys know what's great about walking like this is that... Uh, I always forget every single day when I start walking that walking is genuine exercise. <laughs> and I will get off after like an hour or something and be like, man, why am I sweating? Am I out of breath? What is going on? Uh, I always think of walking as just being this completely passive thing you just do. But actually, it is genuine exercise, you know? To the shock of nobody, isn't Irida waiting for you at the training grounds? You should go there and see her before you leave. Maybe Irida will be like, actually you can train Pokemon up to level 60. That'd be amazing. Gonna go talk to Irida. Gonna go talk to her. Maybe we should buy some crafting supplies as well. Whilst we're here. Uh, crafting materials? Because now we can make those leaden balls, right? So black tumblestone. How many do we have? A bunch? Oh, I've got 92. So maybe we're set. Um, oh, the, you have to use heavy balls? Maybe we should just craft something. Can I craft them? Heavy balls. Oh, I have none. So we should get... Some, anyway, right? Let's just make ten. And then, ooh, feather balls! Do I not? Why don't I have these? I'm gonna make six, so that I leave one spot open. 
iron chunk. Okay, so this one takes a little bit more. We're gonna make like 15 of these. There we go. Okay. Um, super potion. Yeah, we're gonna leave that there so we keep the pep up plant. But you have to make a potion to do this anyway. So we just might as well make a bunch of these, right? Can we no, we still can't make more because we need more pep-up plants. That's what we need. Can I buy pep-up plants for you? No! Ugh, that's so annoying. All right, whatever. No big deal. Also, I did go over here earlier and I got some new moves for some of our team members. Specifically, um, Nice, who I gave Iron Head, and Ritera, who I gave Snarl and Shadow Ball. Snarl is the exact same thing as baby doll eyes, it just lowers your opponent's attack, but also it does damage, so it's just better in every way, right? <laughs> there we go. Are right, we gonna have to fight Irida? Okay, hold on. Because she has, what, Glaceon? That's her jam, if I'm not mistaken. Um, in which case, we should just lead with Mercury, right? But last time she did like some double fight with us, so she sent out an Eevee too. You sneak, you sneak Irida. All right, here we go. Hello, Jay. This gentleman's Warren Ingo, who serves Sneezler. He will guide you to her domain. Okay. Yeah, you don't look like the champion or something. Please properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt. How do you do before? No, this guy's the dragon elite four member, right? I'm the Warren Ingo. I understand you need a hand from Sneezler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now, let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard. Ingo's a bit like you, you know. Hmm, how so? He appeared one day from who knows where! What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Oh, I have not actually solved this mystery in my other playthrough, so I don't know. <laughs> I can only assume this actually is the dragon guy. In any case, I'm glad to have you. Your help to count us one of you. Good luck, blah, 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 blah. Alright, here we go. Now I can get... God, that was such a pointless errand. You just made me run all the way over here. I gotta run all the way back. Here we go. Lower Row Main Street. What do you want? What do you want, little girl? Can I help you? What's that Pokemon up there? What's his name? What's it do? What Pokemon is it? Magikarp! Uh, it's pretty cool. Tell me, tell me. Tell me more! All done! I'm not gonna go get it all done, little girl. That's a lot of work. I'm not gonna go, oh, I thought she was just gonna be like, show me Magikarp. I was like, oh, we have that one. We can do it. We can't though. <clears throat> Look, guys, another reason you should head over and check out our Patreon is because um, you can join the Fire Nation right now. And if you do it real fast, this week, when this episode comes out, you can join that and then we can really jump ahead of the Water Tribe which is the team Ben's on. Ben's not here this week, he's on vacation, so. Um, while he's still getting his steps in, it's not as, uh, you know, direct as walking on a treadmill all day at your desk, you know? He's just getting passive steps in. He's not doing active walking. So, you know, if you wanna go, help me out, that'd be awesome. Right beneath us, the great rift in time, space time is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. Magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff! All right, cool, see ya! Let's see, I've, as ever, we should probably lead with Big Merc. Gosh, we're gonna have to do some serious catching, though. We're gonna have to do some serious catching. All there is to it. We don't have that many Great Balls. Maybe we should have crafted those. Since, uh, that's our best catching tool at the moment, I believe. Gonna have to make a bunch of these. Let's make, like, 30. Great, super dupes, awesome. And did I see a sparkly ore thing somewhere? Yes, it's <laughs> right there. Go get me things, Miles, Mercury, oh no. Already didn't slip you guys. Ah! Look, there's some other Mercuries. Just waiting, some other planetoids. Mm. See, we could go try and catch them, but also, um, Maybe we shouldn't. Oh boy. Oh! Parasect! Bring it, dude! Let's fight! Let's fight something here! So we can catch new stuff. Something we catch here we can actually put on the team if we wanted to. Let's firefang this thing. It's going straight down, 
straight down. Yeah, you're dead. Sorry, Parasect. I love you so much, but also you're dead. Number defeated, 20. Oh man, so we can actually, um, maybe that counts towards, so, oh my gosh, look how close we were running to the edge of that cliff. Ah, that was scary. Ooh, mushrooms. We should have those. How dare you. Yanma, okay. Is that thing still fighting me? How oh, get back off, bro. You zombie mushroom. No, I'm just kidding, you're adorable. There you go. All right, rest in pieces. Mm -hmm. Number defeated, 11. See, we just knocked out a bunch more of those. Maybe let's go for the Yanma, because that's a pretty good. Although if we're going for Yanma, we may as well go for the Feather Ball, am I right? Oh, don't you run for me. What? Did you, oh, you ran because it's night? Is that your excuse? You're afraid of the dark? We don't want that on our team. We don't need people afraid of the dark. You know who's not afraid of the dark? Mercury. You know what's weird? Is that for most of space, like pretty much all of it, it's nighttime all the time. Or like somehow we experience day. It's weird. Oh, 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 you look scary and big. Yeah, I don't know if this is the place for us. I would like to leave, please. Bye. Dire shroom. Oh boy, there's some more mercuries. There's some more mercury. All right. All right. Um, speaking of which, oh, there's so many mercuries over here. So, I wonder if we can catch that one. That would give us at least a. At least the Pokedex entry, or at least the, um, we'd have to release this because we already, of course, already have this, but let's see if we can get it. Come on, Luxio. Oh no! Butts. I doubt it gets it this time, but. Oh, we did, look at that. Oh, and it's, an, and it's a research task, so that's cool. Booyah, that's nice. Oh, there's another one. Let's get. Nice, because Nice should be able to destroy these guys pretty solidly, I would think. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do this. 36, you got it, Nice. Crunch! It's a lot of damage, I don't like it, I don't like it. But we are gonna go ahead and do the, uh, ye old bulldozing tin on you. Bam! You been bulldozed, and you've been one-shotted. One-shotted, dude. Number two to ground type moves. Look, that's another research task. Bam, look, there's gonna be something in here as well. Let's see what we got. What are we gonna fight? A different, a Gravla! Well, I never. Well, I never. Let's go ahead and hit this guy with the old iron head, I think. Yeah, maybe one day you could uh, hope to be as nice as nice, but for now, you've been iron faced. Get out, dude. All right, um, we're gonna go ahead and knock this guy down too, I think. Mm-hmm. Nice has got this covered all day. Thunderfang does nothing. No effect on nice. Yeah, nice try. Bulldoze. Smack him with the bulldozer. Full speed ahead, man. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. There we go. Bam, then we come up here. We can grab this thing. Doesn't really do us much good, because obviously we're not going for the spear tombs. You have to collect so many of those things. You can need 19 more. We've only caught one thing so far, and we already have it, so we haven't caught a single new thing we could actually put on the team. Nor am I specifically uh, inclined to try and catch these crowbats, honestly. I mean, it's kind of boring. And down here, what do we have? Or medicinal leaks, we should definitely grab those. A hoppleberry. It is frustrating to me that you come to this brand new area, and the very first things you can catch are things you already have, right? <laughs> like, come on. You, every time you go to a new area, you should run into brand new stuff. Like, you literally cannot avoid running into a Shinx. It's part of the training. Luxio dead. Sorry, bud. Number you defeated the ground type moves. Two out of two. Research task complete. That's the important thing. We're gonna defeat this one with the ground type move as well, so we're just gonna keep that going. May as well take advantage. Get some experience in here. Although we have to be careful not to level up too much, because I guess if we level up too much, we'll start um, 
having a new problem of not being able to control our Pokemon because they're too strong. I desperately don't want to fight this thing. But we're going to because we can rock slide into a problem. Air cutter. Ah, yeah, not effective, dude. Rock slide. Yeah. Let me just drop a solid avalanche on your face, Golbat. Number defeated, too. Hey, look at that. Achievements. We're getting stuff all over the place. Um, what we do want to do, I think, is use a couple of potions on nice here. You never want to run into something that's randomly going to hit you with, like, a, a surprise. Like, all of a sudden, Golbat just whips out Ice Beam or something, and you're like, well, that, I, that doesn't feel right. And the game's like, yeah, it doesn't matter. You're dead now, so deal with it. Enjoy your death, and um, you're welcome. So we haven't caught anything out here. Grab those tumble stones. Although, if you make me fight you right now, dude, somewhat different from the Electrode, I recall. But if Electrode discharges, at least are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're gonna face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. Must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode. See, so nice would typically be our go-to here, but this Electrode is part grass, meaning that it would actually do tons of damage to nice. So, we, hmm, who are we gonna use to fight this? <sighs> Honestly, Mercury is probably our best bet because we'll just resist the electric attacks and the grass attacks, right? And we can hit it with fire things. So that's probably the best way to go about it. Although the really best, best way is just to knock it out with bombs and barely have to fight it at all, right? So that's the, that's the best, best way. Especially when it's here to blah, 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 blah. Frenzy to boot. So true. Oh, this guy. Melly. Boy, this is the most annoying character in the game. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the great Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. Giving them a really annoying voice. But by the sheer t the greatest obstacle you ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. Uh, wait, I can't do it right now? Why are my only options no and no? Excuse me. My answer was heck yes. <laughs> Well, let me tell you, the great Melly is going to take on this whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of Almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may, to demonstrate to Almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as it's right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I'm here on this. Oh, this guy's got purpose. What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway if Electro lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? I mean... Really, you should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage! Don't get French on me, dude. All right. Surprised they have alternate language sayings in this. Yeah, press on! Bring it, dude. Boy, that guy had such an annoying voice. I'm absolutely going up. To meet Sneasley, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here you'll find Pokemon like Golbat in their ilk, which are quite at, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside. You'll need to watch your step. All right, whatever, dude. Inside Waywood Cave. Here we go. Luke recently got Super Mario Monopoly. It's basically like regular Monopoly, except every turn you roll a coin dice, and if it lands on coin, you get to press this electronic coin thing, and then you get free money. Just like real life. It has been. It has been fun playing with him, though. Of course, a lot of times he'll just, like, turn the dice over. He's like, look, I get coins. I'm like, yeah, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that indeed. And then often if he lands on something that's like, oh, you owe me eight coins, he'll be like, I don't want to. I'm like, yeah, I know you don't want to. <laughs> Pay up. I'll give you a deal. You can give me, like, two coins. And then he'll win and be like, I'll be like, yeah, sure you did. No. Take care not to come uncoupled from me. All right, whatever, dude. The animation's like breaking apart around this guy. I'm going this way. Now I'll follow you. Dude, hurry up, self. Stop walking so slow. Wielded flames with mastery. If only it were here, I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. Now what? 
Please forgive the unscheduled stop. <gasps> I detect an alpha crowbat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would have struck someone so confident as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of our safety. Please follow me. Ho ho ho! Ho ho! I'm gonna, dude. Let me wander, man. Please don't fall behind. We must keep our schedule. I will fall behind if I want to, bro. I believe, lest I mistake, there be Gable in these parts. Hmm? Hmm? Gable? Anybody? Hmm? Wayward Caves exit. Even if the memories themselves are faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. All right, yeah, yeah, this is great. Fantastic. Alpha Crobat, awesome. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, could those be <gasps> torches? I feel like this guy is making the whole game go slower. Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness can be perilous for the next person who passes through. Yes, you definitely do that. <sighs> Ready for the departure. Follow that track mark by the torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. All right, see ya. I'm pretty sure that if I follow the path chosen by myself, Wait, did it seal behind us somehow? Oh, Peter. Oh, 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 no. Okay, we're going back here. And we're going back here. And we're going up here. Aha! Victory! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hold on. Magnus, can we fight this thing? Oh god. Okay, so it's ground type and we're flying, so we should have that going for us. Oh, let's do it, let's do it! Not very effective, excellent. Use your attacks with relentless intensity. This move's power is doubled, the target has a status condition, which it does not. Okay, I think we're gonna go with fire. This should not hurt it, right? I want to barely hurt it. Yeah! Offensive stats were lowered. Mm hmm. Bulldoze. No effect! I didn't think so. All right. Let's go ahead and give it the old. Let's give it a heavy ball, right? Maybe that'll work. Come on! Dun 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 all right, that's our Pokemon for Wayward Cave. As expected. You're amazing. Okay, we did it. We did it. Okay, that's definitely coming on the team. FYI, sorry Magnus, but I think you're probably gonna be out, bro. Um, let's head back over here. Put Mercury out front. All sorts of stuff back here, man. All these little tunnels. What's up here? Go by more Geibel! Oh boy. This thing again. Thinks he's so cool, but he's not. I bet if we catch the other Geibel, that's still good for points. Right? Cross poison? Yeah, not effective. Don't you poison me. Give it the old rock slide. What do you mean it missed? We're surrounded by rocks, dude. Last time you hit him with rocks in the middle of an open field. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Cave in, please. All right, Magnus. Go catch us another Geibel. Now, we can't use this one if we catch it, but we can just catch it for the sake of catching, you know. Give it the old mystic fire here. Kablam! Oh, we can hit it again. You guys remember Kimberly? Kimberly was just the best. Kimberly for the Wimberly. Bulldoze, you got nothing, dude. No effect on Big Magnus. No effect whatsoever. Why? Now we're gonna hit you with another heavy ball. Hopefully this gives us like a two for two catch, right? This maybe is an achievement as well. That's what I'm hoping. Boom! We got the dragon! Enter the dragon! Hey! Hey! You get away! 
Times you've seen it use Mystic Fire. We got an achievement for that too. We are just cleaning up all of a sudden. Get away from me. You dumb zoo bats. Oh, what's up here? Ooh, an exit. Yeah, I don't really care that much about. Didn't have any space in your satchel. Okay, sure. Whatever. Oh. Oh, we need I would much like to go to camp. Is there a camp up here? Because I want to get my Guybel out. Please. Guybel, please. Professor Laventon told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisuia, a region whose name I never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, so I eventually became a warden. But I still wonder what my true purpose is here. Yeah, me too, dude. Probably to start some sort of Pokemon League, if I had to guess, you know. If I, uh, no one... Oh, Heracross! Now that's handy. Oh, a Psyduck and a Golduck. But also Heracross, am I right? Okay, that's definitely what we want, is that. Ah, what? Who's seen us? Who's attacking us? Oh, it's that. Okay. Well, I don't like it. I don't like it. 36 to 47. Uh, let's hit it with Thunderfang. Bam! Yeah, you got nothing. Pin missile? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of it using something like close combat or something. Let's hit it with a heavy ball. Yeah, because it looks heavy. Just big old beetle. Mm hmm. Yes. And. No! Paralyze. Not very effective, okay. Let's hit it with Thunder Wave. Paralyze, and then we'll try again. Oh! Critical hit, eh? Don't like that. That's definitely not how you're supposed to do the switch. Just don't want to get knocked out while we catch. Wait, we are equally unlike. We're going to go for the Leaden Ball. Why not? Donk. Let's catch it. Let's catch it. Look at this, guys. Guybel and Heracross. Boom. Awesome catches. Number count one, also, that counts as a catch, and as a... What? What do you want, Parasect? I know your type. I feel responsible for you being here in some ways. Fire Fang! Oh, I thought we missed for a second. I was like, there's no chance. There's no chance Mercury would miss that attack. You can't convince me of it. I feel like we have too many items. Ooh, we can use some Grit Dust. Um, nice. No. Rotera? Oh, maybe we should have done speed. More universally useful, right? <laughs> okay, so had some pretty good catches today, no doubt. No doubt. I honestly think we should probably... Ooh, look, a piece of wood. That's handy. Maybe. Old ducks. We should probably heal Mercury a little bit there. Heal Mercury. Heal nice. Go to the map. Zoom in. Where are we? Scaling perilous heights. These are... I wish it would tell me, like... Give me more, like, names for the locations in here. Normally they have names. Heaven Ward Lookout? Okay, whatever. Ah, oh, man. We're not doing a good job sneaking up on Pokemon right now. <laughs> Everything's seeing us. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Everyone just leave me alone. I guess we can swim across, right? Maybe that'll help. Anything we can catch in here? 
Oh man, I just sprinted right out. I wanted to just hide in this grass. Did not work at all. All right, we'll fight you. And then maybe we can catch some stuff. Fire Fang. Mercury is getting so close to not listening to us. That would be tragedy. I'd be so upset. Mercury, you would, you would never not listen to me. I'm your buddy, I'm your pal, man. Don't do me like that. Shiny stone. It feels good. Feels like something we'd want to have, right? All right, now if we can catch up on that thing, that'd be an easy catch for us, right? It'd be good if we can get up in that 20 catch range. We're really going to have to get like another research task. Like another, um,. Section complete a weird ear, not a weird ear. Oh, what? Oh, that is a joke, dude. Oh, yeah. oh. Step, I'm gonna step off the treadmill. <laughs> That'd be bad. Go over here. Hi. Uh -huh. Oh, that. That Stantler is looking right at us. He's like, yeah, you're, you're not fooling me, dude. I see you. We're gonna lure him over is what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, he smells it. Catch him, get it. Oh wait, is this gonna be our first catch? No. Cause we got the hair across over here, right? Yeah. Who we'll go that? Okay. Steer clear of that guy. Or maybe we don't. Maybe we get our feather ball out. Stand still. If he turns his back to us, we're golden. Oh! Boy, he was fast. Oh! What? All right, I guess we scared him off. Oh! Hello. Hello there. Hello there. Where's that orange berry? Oh, maybe not. Or maybe so. Let's get another one. Come on, Stan. Let go eat that berry, dude. Bonk. Yes, catch him. Catch him. Do it. Do it. Oh, we are crushing it. And achievement. Yes. All right. We're making our way through this field. Go get me whatever's in that thing. Dazzling honey? Okay. I am dazzled. Ooh, that hair across is sitting down. We could totally catch him. Totally get him. We just have to be very sneaky. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. Oh god, there's a... Everyone just calm down. Everyone just be quiet. We're gonna get this guy real. We have to get very close, but we have to be very quiet too. We can't be attacked by something else. Boom! Get him, get him. Back strike. Yes! Oh, that was awesome. Woo! What? The catching so much stuff adds so much more fun to the game, you guys. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know it was fun catching stuff in this game? It's like we've been ignoring most of the game or something. Who let me do that? Number caught two. Okay. We don't want to fight the Alpha Motham, I don't think. I mean, I bet we could take it, but <laughs> I don't want to get too risky when we don't have to be, you know? You know, is that a pop-up plant? Excellent. We need as many of those as we can get. Ah, but that Motham has noticed us. Well, we're going to have to kill it. That's all there is to it. It's dead. Say goodbye to your memories, Motham. Boom! That's kind of mean. I'm sorry I said that. Okay, we can probably featherball these guys. I would think. If we just get. Get him? Damn, look at that. That was great. Catching all sorts of stuff. Now, all we can really keep from here is the hair across. Bear in mind. But the important thing is 
We're catching stuff so we can get our research tasks done. And that we caught a dragon. Okay, that's the really important thing. What are we gonna use to fight the Sneasler? That's the other thing we should be semi-arming ourselves with. Looks like we're gonna have to fight that guy as well. Excuse me. Oh, total miss. Oh man, that was embarrassing on so many fronts. Total miss, total miss, total miss. Boom! There we go, yes. Dead. Mercury for the win, Curie. That number defeated 15 out of 20, so we should really knock out like five more of them, really, because then that's another uh, task, right? No! Well, here we go. Anyway, this will be another one. Four more to go. Fire Fang. Dead. Boom dead. Ha! Sorry, I know there's a lot of Parasect fans in the audience. It's not personal. It's just how it is right now. All right, this guy's blocking our way. I wonder if we're actually going to have to fight him now. Um, God, I forget what typing Sneasler is. Is it? It's got to be dark. Is it dark poison? That means if we fight, if we have to fight Sneezer, we should use Nice, is what it means. Um, I forget what this guy uses. I don't remember at all. Anyway, let's just go talk to to them. <laughs> yeah, what's the big idea putting back all those torches I spent ages tidying away? You got some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Well, this just goes to show that even the wardens don't always see eye to eye. They extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave who prepare the deck. But now you're allowed to put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electro, just solely mistaken. The only way of getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed, Jay? Hmm, I'll beat him. <clears throat> yeah, we got him. We got him. Go, Skuntank. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we know how to beat these guys. He said silent but deadly. He is, there's a literal fart joke in there. All right. Um, uh, let's see. So first things first, let's just thunder wave this thing. Avoided the attack! Oh, we all know how deadly a good, good scun tank is. So first of all, let's just thunder wave this guy. Yeah. There we go. I think scun tank's unable to move. Can't move, that's right. We're going to go to nice here, and we're just going to wreck this thing with some earthquakes or some bulldozes. Yeah, you're going down, man. Boom! Oh, Golem is so good! Ugh, battle decided just like that! First they're nice, then you're bulldozed. It's our new catchphrase. Listen here. Neither I nor Skuntank admit defeat just yet. That challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to a fourth Skuntank some time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, you lost, bro. Uh, keep your guard up. We'll be back. Hmm, we're live to character. Mm-hmm, indeed, yeah. I cannot fathom more than Melly's intentions, but for now, let's press on. Sorry, I keep using that voice now. Scaling perilous heights. What do we got down here? Oh, it looks like some bronzongs. Some bronze ores, maybe. All right, no big deal. Get our great balls back out. Try and go real careful, like. I gotta talk to you first, man. This guy will not let me walk 10 feet without interrupting. This is the ancient quarry. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick step check. What do you think I'm at? What do you think I'm at? Leave a guess right now. In the, especially if this is the premiere chat. How many steps do I have on the day? Bear in mind, it's two o'clock and I've been walking a lot of the day. Oh yeah, we are at 14,906 steps on the day. Man, doing good, doing good. Where will we be at the end of the video? 
The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were cut from this place. Whether by humans or Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ha! Ah, there you are, Ingo. Oh no, not this guy! Volo, was it? What is the matter? Oh, I don't want to fight you. No, 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 no. Oh no. I don't want to fight you. You have hard Pokemon. So you might do better to pose your questions to Jay. Yeah, that's right. I'm the real genius here, you sneaky, sneaky sneak. Well, I do hope your memory is returned, Warden Ingo. How about you, Jane? Was there anything inside? I saw nothing! Tell you nothing at all, creepy. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange light and the plagues us. You think so? Indeed! I did some digging and found records indicating that this same space-time rift also appears in the Hisui in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it, as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it's Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But that begs the question, why does the space-time rift reopen when it closed once so long ago? And why would Jay have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzy of our nobles. While you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of people living in this world. All right, whatever. Everyone done. Chat over. The narrations in this game, you guys, they never stop. Once we're through here, it'll be just a little further. Let us move with speed, but not haste. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast, as they say. All right. And even more, as they say, time to catch a bronzor. A bron bronzor. Bronzor. That's what we want. So one over there. Ha! Turn around. Turn around. The fingers are slipping on the controller. Okay. Boom! Backstrike! Get him. Mm-hmm. That's a solid catch, guys. Steel Psychic, you'll love to see it. Ball of mud. Ah! He's back! There's more! Go away. Get away from me. You saw nothing? All right. All right. That's how you want to do it, man. That's how they wanted to go down. Bad news for you, bro. I got Fire Fang, so you're dead. Yeah. You defeated Bronzor. And we caught one, so now we easily... Remember we defeated Fire Type moves one out of one? Well, that means if we defeat more with Fire Type moves, we can get more research tasks complete. Look at us. Being so productive. Since we have them, those research tasks count. Two for two? Yes! We should also go ahead and mark this spot on the map, I suppose. Somewhere we've caught stuff. Oh, the bronze zong. Of course, we'd have to release that one, but we can still try and catch it. I wonder what it eats. Don't you dare come near me, man. Chesto berry? Maybe? I think it eats that. Oh, no. Oh boy, it looks angry. You didn't see anything. You don't know about us. Oh boy! Alright, guess we have to fight it. Guess we have to fight it after all. Alright, well, maybe we won't knock it out. And if we don't knock it out, boy, we're actually taking some damage, and I don't love it. Okay, here we go. Iron defense. Um. Let's just go ahead and go Leaden Ball, because there's no way that thing's not heavy, right? Made out of just a giant metal bell. Catch it. Come on! Oh no! Now it's going to be all enraged. Okay. Did it get enraged? No. Right, let's try it one more time. The alpha Pokemon get enraged when that happens. That's what happens. With this. Come on! We got it. Not that we can keep it. Obviously, I can release it. But we caught it! That's the important thing. 
Um, let's get out of this section real quick. Let's go ahead and also heal Merc. There we go. There you go, bud. I mean, dangerously close to having to bench Mercury for level reasons, which would be an absolute travesty, especially since we definitely need Mercury for the Electrode fight. So if we get to level 50, we will definitely have to bench Big Merc. We are definitely in a new area, though. At the very least, Lasagna is still getting some levels. Shouldn't fight with you, though. Most of our teams get... Oh, gosh, it's a Nursa Ring. I don't like the look of that. Not one, not one, not one, not one bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. How long have we been recording now? Seems like a good stopping point. Yeah, seems like a good stopping point there with the big bear on the horizon. All right, so first things first. Let's do this. Let's head back to camp, I think. New request. Where is the camp? This? Here? Here. Highlands Camp. Beautiful. Going back to camp. We're gonna see how much. First of all, I want to see my Pokemon. We need to do some things. We need to release this one. We need to release this. All right, so we need to give some names. Now, as I said, Ben is on vacation, so Master Namer is not here. I will be choosing the names myself. You're welcome. Hold, please. First, what are we gonna name our lovely Guybull? Oh boy, here we go. Who's definitely coming on the team. Stone. Yeah, we're going for Stone after James Stone in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, James. Next up we have to name our Bronzor, Solberg. That's after Christine Stolberg in the comments. Thank you for watching, Christine. And what are we going to name our Heracross? Oh boy, Heracross, good one, good one, good one. Owen. That is after Owen Evans music in the comments. Thank you, Owen, for watching. There we go, guys. Have some brand new Pokemon on the team. We're gonna go ahead and throw Stone onto the team because let's face it, there's no way we're not putting Stone. All right, let's see if we have any other good moves we can put on. So uh, we have Dragon Claw slash Boulder Swister. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Fantastic. Love to see it. We're just gonna let Stone sit there and just sort of level up in the background probably for a while as we fight stuff. Um, but yeah, that was a fun episode. We got to a new area and we caught new things, including the dragon. I know. Oh, great gravel. Hold on. Maybe we should use that. Well, I'll use that off screen. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I should do a quick step check before we go. Final guesses. What are we at? We are at... Oh, it's like a thousand steps later. We're at 15,940. Oh man, coming up on 16,000 on the day. If you want to uh, get involved in step competition, you can head it over to uh, patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. See you there. Also, you get your name on the wall in the next screen. Thanks so much as always for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes from us. Don't forget to leave a comment so you might get a Pokemon named after you in the future episodes. But uh, until then, bye! And before we go, we need to give a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon. Thank you to Dakota Ballantyne, Grim 13 Brant Klassen, Dola, Cameron Sherpa, Matt Cox, Robbie Cruz, Sammy San 88 Stacy, Brian Ward, Emerald Phoenix, Lacey Nielsen, Abby Mondin, Afropunk, Aiden Rudinieras, Allison Overcamp, Alyssa White, Andromeda 192, Annika Merton, Aerofell, Becky Borst, Beck Squad, Benjamin Agassi, Brianna Bouchard, Bree Liv, Chris Ray, Jade Coulter, Kimberly Lee, Lauren Alexandra, Linwood, Maskmaker, Mots Faruli, Megan Stevens, Moss Twig, Rosalind Goddard, Simon Pertshirt, Tyler Siegel, Vincent Yael, Ez, 0412, Eduardo Bravo, James Buzanel, Joanna Ashcroft, Karen Choi, Luxba92, Monique East, and Stanley Beck. Thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon. If you'd like to see your name on this list and have your name read out loud, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Dead spork.